Hey guys, it's Sierra and welcome back to my channel! I am bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Follow me on TikTok, the Sierra Reed. Plug. So I am redoing this video. Let me tell you what happened. Yesterday, I did this video. However, also yesterday, I drank a little too much. So the video was not up to par. <laughs> Wearing my husband's t-shirt, I feel very comfortable. I'm ready to go, slightly hungover, because we are no longer in our early 20s, and that was proven to me by how I felt this morning when I woke up. So we learned a few lessons yesterday, okay? Don't be Lashisha. Also, because I've already tried out this product yesterday, this is not a first impression. But some things have transpired since then on my face. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for like subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. Let's get into the video. Okay, so what we're reviewing today again is the Fenty Beauty BAM Matchstick Glow Skin Stick. Crayon. Have you guys ever realized how long my name is? Okay, in pearl. <coughs> this is what it looks like outside of the carton. It has 5.5 grams of product in here. I'm gonna pop the top, we're gonna roll it up. Now, I did use it yesterday, so it's not brand new, but you know, so just think it's a little tiny bit more than that. The reason why I bought this is because Mimi Francis, shout out to you, I will leave her socials down below, did a video on this last week and I got hype and I bought it as soon as her video came out. It was like, she, she made me buy this. Thank you Mimi for making my pockets a little lighter. So it was $25. I also picked up the Gloss Bomb in Hot Chocolate because that is literally my favorite, favorite shade out of all of the Gloss Bombs. Hot Chocolate is lit. Dad joke. <coughs> I'm gonna get you guys up pretty close because this is what I realized happened to my skin using this product. So when I did this video yesterday, I split my face down the middle and I did this side with the product underneath my foundation. If you look at my skin, I've got a rash. I hope you guys can see it right here, okay? I also now have a pimple. This product may not work for my skin. I may have some type of reaction to it, but we're gonna try it again, guys, because that's how committed I am to my job. Smart. I'm going to split my face in the middle like I did yesterday. This side of my face, I'm going to be applying the matchstick underneath my makeup. So because it's not a first impression, what I gathered yesterday was that I really do like how it looks on bare skin. Like this looks so hydrating and dewy but it also does emphasize my pores a lot more. Like look at this side and look at my pores. Look at, look at my nose pores, okay? Look at this side, okay? So if you've got a lot of pores going on, I'm letting you know that she's gonna be making them jump out. I'm gonna prime this side of my face. The reason why I didn't prime this side of my face is because I thought that if you are gonna use this on bare skin, you probably wouldn't put on primer. You probably would put on SPF, but would you actually put on primers and then put on this and then walk out the door with nothing else on your face? Probably not. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 330. I'm gonna be using the Matte and Poreless because I don't want to use a dewy foundation. How would we know if the dew is coming from the foundation or if the dew is coming from the stick? I'm gonna speed through this. I'm gonna do this side first and then I'm gonna switch brushes and use this one for this side.
All right, so we're blended. This is the side with the matchstick underneath our makeup. And this is the side without the matchstick. As you can see, this side is definitely more dewy than this side. I really like how it looks with the matchstick underneath my foundation. But here's what happens, and I'm gonna show you right after I tell you. Once you set this, all of the dew goes away. So if you are going to use this product, I wouldn't set my foundation because then you're just, it's literally a waste of product and a waste of time. I'm just letting you know, okay? Let me set my face and I'll be right back. I started setting my face without putting freaking concealer on. <sighs> okay. Let me try to fix this. Back to the review. As you can see, now that I've powdered down my face, this side looks just like this side. Does it not to you? Do you see a difference? It looks the same. So don't waste product. We don't have time or coins for that. Now I'm gonna put it on over my foundation. And here's another thing I learned yesterday. Don't just take this stick and go like this because it pulled up my foundation on my forehead and I was really, 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 really mad about it. So what I used after I messed up was one of these little flat brushes like this. You see that? I put the product, I just swirled it around like this and then I applied it. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do it. And don't drag, just tap. Now you see what it looks like with it on top of foundation. So let me pop off real quick, put a little lip on, do a little bronzing action, and get on here and give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, so this is the final look. So let's just recap. Okay, so I used it without anything on my face and that looks really pretty. However, it does accentuate pores. Okay, so if you got pores like me, just know that it's gonna accentuate some stuff. Would I still use it though? Yes, I, I don't feel like it's the worst product I've ever used when it comes to accentuating pores. It's not the worst, it's just not the best. Second is if you put this on underneath makeup and then set your face, you are wasting your time because all the do is going to be gone. I wouldn't put it on underneath makeup if you're going to set it. If you're not gonna set it, it looks really pretty. So say you have a more mattifying foundation and you wanna kinda juice it up a little bit, I could see that working. Thirdly, when we did it as a highlighter, if you drag it across your face, you are going to lift up your foundation. I would use what I showed you is a brush like this, boom, boom, flat brush and stipple, okay? That way you don't have any issues and ball patches because ball patches are not in in 2020. $25, I'm not mad at the price point. I like the color or really no color because it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't have any color. It doesn't pick up anything. Like, look at it. Do you see that? That's what I really like about this and that's what I think is so interesting because it, it, it has no shift at all. What I'm trying to say is, do you need it? No, but could your makeup collection benefit from having it? Yes. That's my final wrap up guys. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to stay safe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Quarantine and these nails, I don't know. <laughs> I need to do peace out from back here <laughs> like this. Peace out, guys. <laughs> ah, ah, peace out.